up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? Today we are in our gamer girl room, and I'm not loving my chair. You were right. I shouldn't have painted it, so I am crocheting a quick little blanket real fast. It's not really fast, it's taking forever. What is with my voice? I'm gonna go get some tea. I'll be right back. That's better. At Target, I found Mini Bratz Series 1. This was $9.99 for one. Personally, I do think that's a little steep for a surprise box. I mean, we can get toy mini brands at $6.99 regularly priced. I just got them on sale for $4.19 and we get five toys inside. Uh, another double and razor. It's a box. Okay, so. Mm -mm. And... Ooh, we got a Ninja Turtle. Now that's pretty cool. So you get a tiny mini and it was way less than the Bratz. Just, just saying, just saying. And here we have Kissable Keychain. Okay, that's a new one for me. And my last one is a water gun, I think. So that's toy mini brands at $6.99. Here's Disney mini brands at $7.99. The capsules aren't incredibly useful unless you feel like getting crafty, but we got Stitch. However, we do get five minis. Sometimes we get shelving where we can display the minis. I like to leave the stickers off so we can use them however we like. Here I have a bow and arrow from Avengers. This is a... Tupperware, I guess. Food storage container of some kind. And here we have Bo Peep. That's cool. So in this ball, I got four toys and a shelf. I think this will look good in our room. And new to the mini toy brand world, here are mini brats. The box says limited edition, one set, flashback minis. Remove the paperboard. Underneath we have a case in plastic. So we're gonna remove that. Now the case here is usable. We can use it as a display later. First we're gonna take out our pieces. Looks like we get two pieces and they're both wrapped in paper. The case is actually designed to display two different items. That's pretty neat. The paper is kind of cute. I like the little Bratz logo in pink. And we're just gonna open that up. And here we have a lip telephone. Yo, kind of loving this. I wanna see if we can take it out. So let's cut the tape and open it up. Check that out. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. Okay, and we can take it out, right? Right? We can! There's a little cord and everything. And it opens. You have got to be kidding. Okay then, brats. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I hope I get a second one. One to leave in the box and one to leave out. This paper is giving me Barbie vibes. And this is... A two-pack Phoebe and Roxy twins. Can we take them out? Yes, and they have little stands. Okay, so, you know, they kind of thought this one through. The mini dolls are finished all the way around. We do have a little eye pixelation, but we're not gonna be picky about that. We do have a little paint on her chin from her jacket, but for the most part, these are pretty cool and pretty detailed and a great size to be dolls for dolls. Here's the Bratz doll next to an OMG mini, a mini Barbie figure from the Dollar Tree, Disney Princess comic minis, Bo Peep from Disney mini brands, a mini Winnie Briar Horse, and the Super Impulse world's smallest Barbie. Kind of loving the size of the Bratz doll when compared to the other mini dolls. And I like how we can take them out and put them back in the packaging and put them in the display. 
Are they worth $9.99? Well, I would say that is completely up to you. You're pretty much paying $5 per mini, but let's not forget these are surprise bags and you may get doubles, which we didn't. Here is Flaunt It Chloe. The back of the box looks pretty cool. And our other one is, I want to say it's a styling head. Yup, it's a giant Sasha styling head. It easily comes out like the other minis. I think that's pretty cool. This one is Mini Bratz Cosmetics. There are some lovely little warnings included as well as a list of ingredients. The case is pink and the bags are purple. In the first bag, we have a purple vinyl makeup bag that had a tiny little box inside. Let's see if we can open it. Careful when opening, you can rip the box. And this is a little tiny mascara. Are you kidding? And it's real? It is. I'm totally not gonna use it, but that's pretty cool. Ah, it got on me. I'm very picky about the ingredients in my actual makeup, but mini makeup that's actually usable, that's a pretty cool idea. In the other bag, we have an eyeshadow palette, and we can open this up. And here is the palette that we can open to see all of the little eyeshadows. Now there is a protective film on the top and I assume we just have to remove that to get to the actual makeup. And it's real makeup. Remove the film from the mirror and it's pretty reflective. I'm just gonna use these as miniatures and keep them on display. I only bought two of the Mini Bratz Cosmetics because they were also $9 or $9.99 and I knew I would rather spend my money on the mini toys. Is this very similar to the one I just got? Hmm. Nope, nope, it's different. This one's blue, the other one was like purple. And this box says lipstick. It is so tiny. And look at that little tiny lipstick. And it's real. Our other surprise is a shadow palette that opens up and has real eyeshadows. Oh wait, they are the same color. I like how the makeup comes in individual boxes. So you can set the little box on the counter and have the makeup outside it, almost like you're getting two minis. For this one, where there's a little window, we can just cut a piece of the packaging and tape it in to make it look like we have one in the box and one out giving us the look of double the makeup. Back to the mini toys. So far, no doubles, which makes me pretty happy. And I can't help but think there has to be some way we can reuse these bags. Ooh, we've got Yasmin. And who is this? And Bratz, pretty and punk, Chloe. Just gonna be honest, y'all. I don't really know all of the collections from Bratz because I wasn't a huge Bratz collector. I am familiar with this version of Yasmin because it came out with the 20th anniversary dolls, but this one is new for me. Can we get a close up? Check out all those details. Check this out. They are a good size for our miniature Barbie dream house. Well, I guess it just became a Bratz dream house. How cool is that? We already have a mini house to go with our mini brats. Definitely pleasantly surprised. And this is Cameron. Brats boys, nice to see the guys being included in the minis. And this is a car. Mmm, the scale. I know dog cars aren't usually the scale, but this feels a little small. So personally, I could do without this one. I might go and find me a Hot Wheels. On to the next one. So far, no doubles. So that makes me pretty happy. Yay! I got Sasha. 
and Yasmin from the Wintertime Collection. I guess my dolls are about to become Bratz collectors because this is pretty cool. And I just picked up the 20th anniversary Sasha on sale for $17 at Target. How cute is that? The back of the boxes even match. Sasha is wearing a silver beanie with a little pom-pom on top, an orange shirt with striped sleeves, a blue skirt with orange details. We have the option of making the skirt shorter by removing the lower half. She has a pretty cool little fabric book bag there and orange, blue and white shoes. Bratz are a little short for me, standing under 10 inches. She has movement at the head, shoulder, hip, and a bend and snap knee or a click knee, which is not my favorite. And her shoes are pretty much her feet and they are removable. While I love that she matches the doll, I'm gonna do a body swap. They're pretty much the same height as an OMG doll, but with an OMG doll, we get elbow and wrist articulation. So everyone, say it with me, off with their heads. I place the dolls in a bag, then place them in hot water until the head is soft enough to easily be removed. Then quickly attach it to the other body. It's a perfect match. She can still fit her shirt. However, the sleeves are a little long, but she can no longer fit the skirt. I wonder how a Bratz will look on an OMG Fierce body. We'll get longer arms, added height, and a knee joint. I found her head a little more challenging to remove. Okay, I am loving the look. The skin tone is off just a little. However, we do have a case of bobblehead syndrome. I tried adding rubber bands to the neck peg, but it's just not working for me. Oh man, I thought this is gonna work. So we can stick with the OMG body and borrow some OMG shorts, or we can put her on a made to move body. I went with the curvy Barbie looks doll number two. I dressed her in jean shorts and a striped crop top. And no, she doesn't look exactly like her doll anymore, but she can hold it. I get so easily distracted. We're supposed to be opening mini brats. I think we have about five more to go. And here we have our first double. Wait, remember I wanted two of these. So this is a good thing. I wanted to keep one in the box and have one out. So we can pretend like our dolls are talking on the phone. It's the perfect addition to our desk. Since the phone was a double, does that mean this is a double too? Yup. We have a second set of the twins. Okay, so that was our first double today. It's not so bad and it's of the one that I wanted, but I don't need any more doubles after that. Wow, that's another double. And I'm guessing that means that the second one is also a double. Ah, uh, yes, we have another styling head. And now I have two Chloe's. Three to go. It's seeming like they're always paired together. So if you get one double, you're getting two. I could be wrong. You know, I am hoping I'm wrong. Let's see. So far we got two doubles back to back. Do we get another double? No, this is the 20 years, Chloe. Sweet, I have four of them. And the other one is Pretty in Punk Jade. Ooh, check out the back. I'm liking the doll to non-doll ratio. For the most part, you're guaranteed, not really guaranteed, but you have a really good chance of getting a miniature Bratz. You know, like versus the car and the styling head. All we need now is the 20th anniversary Jade. And this is not her. It's Roxy, I think that's how you say it, from Rock Angels. It's pretty cool, but I need Jade. Yeah, I can't believe I just got Jade. So that means I have all of the 20th anniversary brats. I can't believe it. This like never happens for me. We are down to our very last one. 
And I gotta say, I prefer the Bratz toys over the cosmetics. And it would have been nice if like a collector's guide was included, just saying. Cause this is not a collector's guide. I was hoping to get one of the Tokyo dolls, but I don't think this is it. No, <laughs> it's a triple, a triple. The only thing worse than doubles are triples. We have three Chloe's. Oh, does that mean I have three styling heads? Confession, I'm not a huge fan of the styling head. But you know what? I have seen a lot of those little head planters on like Pinterest. I trimmed off the top of the head and made a little hole. Let's paint it, cut and color paper to look like leaves, roll the paper, glue it inside to make a fun planter for our room. Oh yeah, it fits right in. Overall, I would say the quality is actually pretty good for such a small figure. I like how we can take them out of the packaging and place them back in without destroying it. The figures have little stands so we can put them on display in our doll rooms. I do wish the car was a little bigger. I like how the packaging can be turned into a display, but this would have been so much cooler if each one was a room. Just saying. Ah, but it does make a pretty cool little photo wall. And I think my curvy made to move brats is one of my better hybrids. I still think $9.99 each is a little steep. I think at $7.99, I wouldn't have complained. Will I get more? Most likely, because they are perfect dolls for dolls. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at mini brats. They probably should have turned these around so they would be upright on the display. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!